Well, we know there's a problem with health research, and that's that up to 85% of it is going to waste. That's partly because people aren't developing good research questions. To some extent, it's because the studies aren't always done with the best methods. Then a lot of studies just don't get published at all, but partly because authors just don't submit them. And then there's a big problem too with an awful lot of research that gets published not being reported very well. So this is why BMJ has spent the last 18 months developing research to publication in collaboration with UCSF. So research to publication, our e-learning programme, brings together the expertise of a, of a university, UCSF, and, and their researchers and teachers with the knowledge and expertise of senior editors who have spent many years handling submitted research papers and quite often rejecting them. And uh, a programme that brings all of this together is unique. Editors don't reject papers because they're not well written. They reject papers because the study that's been reported is either not clearly reported or it is clearly reported and there's a problem with it. And that's why papers don't get through and it's very often because the question itself is not sufficiently important or relevant to the audience of the journal or hasn't been answered well enough with the method. That's why research to publication takes you all the way from developing research questions to choosing the right method through to writing papers very clearly and following the guidelines that actually help you to report each kind of study design fully and transparently. What's in research to publication is a synthesis of best practice, internationally accepted guidelines on how to do research and how to write it up and publish it ethically. It, it's aimed largely at researchers who are beginning their careers, but there's plenty in research to publication for experienced researchers and authors too, because everybody gets rejected at some point or another, and people really appreciate having insights from senior editors and senior researchers on how to do these things as well as possible. Hello, I'm Vanessa Jacoby. I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist and clinical researcher here at the University of California, San Francisco. I'm really excited to discuss today's topic, which is how to design a research question for your research project. And that's something that learners can do at their own pace, but equally institutions can use this in blended learning to have a, perhaps a weekly tutorial where all the students have come having done the same module and then they get together to discuss how that's relevant to their own research and to their own setting. If you complete a module you get a certificate from UCSF and BMJ and we're looking forward to working with institutions to accredit research to publication as well so that um, it will be more embedded in, in the institution and its curriculum. If research to publication sounds like the sort of thing you're looking for, uh, perhaps you're um, a dean of a medical school, perhaps you're um, a lecturer, you're a researcher, a mentor, or you work in a university research integrity office because research to publication has a great deal on research ethics and publication ethics, then maybe you want to know more, in which case come and visit our website where you'll find much more information.